Hey guys, it's Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to do this look. It is called Peachy Everyday Look. So if you want to see how I did it, then keep on watching. What I do is prime my face. This is just simple primer that I made. I just put Pixie Tonic Glow and Young Living Lemon Essential Oils in it and water and just mix it up in one of these squeezy tubes. I really don't know what they're called. And yeah, you just shake that up and it's ready to go. In Maybelline Corrector Stick in the shade Ivory, just apply that under my dark circles. And I'm just going to blend that with my foundation brush. Honestly, I don't know why I use my foundation brush. It just blends it all together with like the extra foundation. Now for go. foundation, I'm going to be taking the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation Matte and Poreless in the number 112 the shade Natural Ivory. So now I'm going to be taking my Beauty Blender and just blending it. I really do not know where I got this Beauty Blender. Um, I think I got it at TJ Maxx, Home Goods, or Target. Um, I think it was like $4. I'm not quite sure what brand this was. I'm so sorry I'm not being that helpful. But when it's all yeah. blended, I'm going to take that corrector stick one more time and put it under my eyes and then blend it with my Beauty Blender. I don't know why but this really helps um, if you do both the ways. And this is super cheap, so like if you run out of it really fast, it's so cheap, it's like $2. But I don't have any concealer on my hands right now. Um, I wanna order some ColourPop concealer. Comment down below if that's a really good concealer because I've heard really good positive things about it, but I'm not quite sure. But I really want to order that. So this is what I'm using for concealer. And it honestly, it does an amazing job. You just gotta like blend it out really good because it's like super thick. But like, it, it's pretty good. I've been seeing myself grab for bronzers and blushes for everyday makeup eyeshadow looks. So that's what I'm gonna do today for you guys. Um, I'm gonna take the H&M Natural Bronzer. That's the shade. And it's super cute and I love this packaging but I'm gonna also take a Morphe M441 brush and just apply that to my crease and just blend it out. I added a base um, eyeshadow from a ColourPop palette but I'm just going to blend this out and it's very natural and this is going to be my transition shade. I just scratch my palette. I'm gonna be taking a blush from H&M this is in the shade Golden Peach. It's a very pretty color. And this is a perfusion brush. It doesn't have a number or anything. I really don't know. But it's an eyeshadow brush. That's all I know. I'm going to take this in the lower crease of my eyelid. And just blend it with the brown shade. For some odd reason, the lighting in my phone is not giving this eyeshadow justice, but it's such a pretty eyeshadow. I wish it would show on camera. Maybe I can like flip it at the end of the video and like show you a slow mo of the whole look. I don't know. But now I'm going to be taking this Essence My Must Have in the color Strawberry Smoothie, and I'm going to take it with the same brush that I used for the blush. Um, this is a blush and an eyeshadow right here. Taking the Morphe brush and softening up this harsh line and making it look more natural. Almost done with the eyes, I'm going to take my highlighter. Um, it's Makeup Revolution London Shimmer Brick Radiance. I'm going to take the middle peachish shade and... I'm going to put it on my brow bone. Oh wow, that's super blending. This highlighter is so good and it's only $6 and it comes with five shades. I really like it and I got it one time. Well, obviously I have it, but I got it and my mom's like, what highlighter are you using? So she also got it. It's super affordable and I think it's a very good um, alternative for like one of the Anastasia, no, Huda Beauty um palettes like highlighter palettes but um of course it's not as blinding as those are but i think it's very pretty i'm gonna take that same shade and put it in my inner corner of my eye i'm gonna curl my eyelashes the mascara that i'm going to be using is this smashbox super fan fanned out mascara i got this for free because i spent over like 50 dollars at ulta 
and I am obsessed with this. I want to get the full size. It is amazing. Let me find the mirror. There we go. It is super amazing and very, very lifting for my eyelashes. I'm gonna take the Hula Bronzer from Benefit oh, blush. I'm gonna take the same blush that we use for my eyes to my apples of my cheeks, just like make a weird smiling face. I like this blush because it gives like a highlighter effect, like another shimmer. I'm gonna take that same highlighter. I'm just gonna take these two shades. By the way, my sister's in the background making a lot of noise. I'm going to line my lips with this L'Oreal. It just says pink. Doesn't really have a shade, I guess. I'm just gonna line my lips and then use some gloss. Now I'm gonna take this Laura Mercier lip gloss in the shade Rose. I really like this lip gloss. I know these two shades don't really match, but I don't love a lot of lipstick and I don't have any lip gloss this color, so. I think it's very pretty. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, if you guys recreate this look, use the hashtag Rachel's Peachy Look on Instagram and I will like that photo, follow you, and if you have a YouTube, I will subscribe to you and shove you out on my makeup Instagram. So please do that. I would be so glad if you did that. That would make my day. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Out, Girl Scout. <laughs> my eyelashes look so good guys if you are looking for a great mascara this is super amazing i actually do not know how much the real bottle is um i hope it's affordable because it's amazing but yeah I love this highlighter take huda beauty huda beauty i'm not that rich oh my gosh my heart is going crazy so I was curling my eyelashes after I put on mascara and look how bomb they look. But I did not let the mascara fully dry, so it was kind of sticky. So when I was opening it, this thing fell like that. So I thought my eyelashes were coming off. I got so scared. That was time for the face. I'm gonna take Hula Bronzer. I just have a mini one. Honestly, the mini one, I've heard. Look out!